welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa and this video is the last part of a series where I walk you through the different neighborhoods in Rome. There are officially 22 different regions, neighborhoods in the city of Rome, but for the sake of this video series, I condense them down to eight areas and explain to you what there is to do, see, eat, and why you shouldn't miss it. Today's video we are talking about Vatican City and Prati, so let's get started. The number one attraction in this area is of course the Vatican Museums, Sistine Chapel, and St. Peter's Basilica. Make your reservations for the Vatican Museums ahead of time and you can skip the line. I'd recommend you block out a good chunk of your day to really See everything in these museums because there's a lot. Make sure you take advantage of your time in the Sistine Chapel. It is included in part of your Vatican tour, but you cannot go in and out of it. Once you're in it, that's the only chance you're gonna have, so be sure and sit down, look up, enjoy, stare at it as long as you want because once you leave, you can't go back in. St. Peter's Basilica is something you cannot miss. It's free to go inside and it is home to Michelangelo's Pieta. All of the artwork in this church is actually mosaic. I made another video where I take you inside the church and I share some more facts with you, so I will link that here and in the description box. If you wanna go up to the top of the dome, you can for a small fee and for climbing a lot of stairs. A few places to eat that I could recommend to you that are right near St. Peter's are Duecento Gradi. They have delicious sandwiches and are vegan friendly. La Zanzara is a sit-down experience and Old Bridge has some of the best gelato in the city. A little farther away near the cheaper metro stop you can find Bonchi Pizzarium, a little pizza by the slice place made famous by the great Anthony Bourdain. If you're liking this video, subscribe and share it with a friend. It will help you to never miss a video about Rome or my life as an expat living in Rome. And it will help me to grow my channel so I can continue to make videos like this. After you see St. Peter's, continue walking down that street to see Castel Sant'Angelo. It is Hadrian's mausoleum and a museum that you can go inside and go to the top to enjoy a spectacular view over the river and of St. Peter's. The beautiful pedestrian-only bridge is called Ponte Sant'Angelo, known for Bernini's Angels. Another beautiful building in this area is in Piazza Cavour, and it's the Justice Building. You can also find many buses in this piazza, so it might be helpful for you to get around to other parts of the city from here. I would recommend this area to you, number one, if you want to spend most of your time in Rome here at the Vatican and St. Peter's. Also, if you're wanting to ensure that you have a quieter night's sleep, you can stay in this neighborhood. And if you enjoy cooking some of your meals at home, you can stay at an Airbnb in this neighborhood and there are plenty of local grocery stores that you can have access to. I like this neighborhood because it's well connected by trains, metro, and buses, and it's also very walkable. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.